Hello everyone. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste. Blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. I am Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today we are celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This is one of my favorite holidays of the year. We don't give gifts, we don't have parades, we don't decorate our houses. There isn't a long list of traditions that we love to do but maybe don't quite understand. We simply honor the life of one man who inspired millions of people to do the right thing and make great changes in this country and all over the world. A person who preached love, kindness, fairness, and respect for all people. What could be a better thing to celebrate than that? Martin Luther King Jr. was alive in this country when we still had laws that separated black people from white people. We don't even often talk about how Hispanic people, Asian people, and Native American people were treated during this time, but it wasn't too good either. But black people simply, because of their skin color, had to attend different schools from whites, eat at different restaurants, pray in different churches, go to different bathrooms, and even use different water fountains. And let's be clear, what the blacks had was not equal to what the whites had. Black schools, for example, were not as good as white schools. Their books were usually old. Their buildings were often run down. Sometimes they were far away from where the kids lived. If something broke, it took often a long time to get fixed. And if it was something like a toilet or a sink, there was no way black citizens could use the white bathrooms while they waited for theirs to be repaired. Now, before this, things were even worse. Black people were once slaves in this country. But even though slavery ended, and the law said that all people were free, very few, if any, black people were treated equally to whites. And if you have ever been singled out or treated unfairly by another group of people, even for a moment or an hour or a day, you know how scary and sad and frustrating that can be. That's not a healthy feeling, that's a sick feeling. You're not really free. When someone tells you that you can't do what you want, that you can't go where you want to, that you can't see or love the people that you want, that you can't go to the same clubs, listen to the same music, play the same sports, do the same jobs, make the same money as everybody else, not because it's wrong, but because of who you are or what you are, then you are not free. And imagine living that way every single day, every moment of your life. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke up about this. He spoke up about how unfair it was to treat black people differently just because of their skin color. He and many others started to protest, to come together and march in the streets and hold big gatherings to talk about this problem. More and more people joined in the protests and the talks until millions of people, millions of people were asking the government to change the laws again and this time to make sure the laws said that black people and all races of people need to be treated equally and allowed in all the same buildings and to use the same water fountains and restaurants and bathrooms and churches. And even though this was a big change that scared some people, in the end, it allowed black people and white people and people of all colors to come together to mix, to talk more, to become friends, and to love one another more. Life in this country is so much better because of these laws, because they were changed. Things are so much better because of people like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But things aren't perfect, 
There are still those who want to separate black people from white people again, and other colors too, even today. They want their communities to only have one race of people. Many of these groups are white, and they only want white people around them, I'm sorry to say. Others don't mind being around people of other colors, but they still don't think that these people of different skin colors are equal, and so they don't treat them equally. They think others are strange or silly or stupid or scary, like they aren't as good as their own race, or sometimes not even human. Can you imagine that? This is called racism, and though a lot of it has gone away, over the years it is still around. It's kind of like a disease or a virus. It's hard to get rid of it completely. We have to make sure it keeps going away and never spreads again. That's why having a holiday like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, or MLK Day for short, is so important. A day to take off of work or school and remember this great leader and all he fought for. Every year I read some of his speeches, especially his most famous one, the one that we call I Have a Dream. Hearing his words helps us, it helps me to imagine that a world without, what a world without racism might look like. A world where people aren't just free and equal in the eyes of the law, but in the hearts and minds of every person. So I just wanted to quote a little bit of his speech for you today so you could hear some of the great words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today and if America is to be a great nation, this must come, become true. And when this happens, and when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Thank you all for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all that he has done for the world and this country. I hope you are inspired by him and people like him. I love you all and have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.